Guys, we've got a little bit of a different episode today. We're playing the same team twice. That's right. It is time for the semifinal of the Pseudo-American. Let's get into it. Before we get into today's episode, why don't you go ahead and leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. A lot of stuff has happened since the last episode. We had our uh, president election. stayed the same, but he did purchase a player after getting elected um and he, he, he was okay i mean there's nothing crazy about him he brought in a gentleman pedro lucas purchased him for what was it 8.75 can be 10.75 in the future purchased him attacking midfield also playing the middle and as a striker i didn't I thought he looked pretty good i mean it's I'm, I'm happy with that that was pretty good we're happy with that decision I signed another player as well. We brought in another uh, center back option, mainly because we've been kind of thin there and Nino is getting up there in age. So I thought, hey, you know, why not? As you can see, I did spend some money. I bought a player for 12.25 million. His name is Eric Gallo. And as you guys already know, before I click on him, he's, he's a youngster. He's 18 year old, two and a half star right now, four and a half star potential ability. Looks to be pretty good. He's already played a good bit for us in the times that we've been away. Looking at, so speaking of that, here's where we have been on a good run. Uh, we've been out and beat Fortaleza 2-1. to one. We had 7-1 in the next matchup. We drew in the next one after that 1-1. One, one. We beat Flamingo 4-1. to one. And then in the last match I just played, we won 5-1. to one. Today, we're going up against Corinthians, though. I'm going to play these two matches right here. We're going to skip the middle match. I'm going to do that off screen. We're going to play the semifinal, though. We got the team picked. And this is what we're looking at. We have Piera in goal, Martinez, Nino, Daniel, and Felipe making up the back four. Salou and Diego in the midfield. Right-hand side, Fernando. Middle, making his first, I think it's his debut. Lucas. Left-hand side, Alvarino. Up top, we got Renan. We do have a couple injuries. Venero um, has picked up a little bit of a knock. He's going to be coming back pretty soon, though. Five days for him. And then Denny is out five to 11 days. Maybe we can get Panero back before the next match starts. I don't know. I don't think we will on Denny, though. But I've been playing a lot of this game today already. Uh, I didn't play any last night after I got done recording, so I had a lot of makeup work to do. So, yeah. This is the first of the consecutive matches against Corinthians, and we need to show them what we're made of. Let's Okay, don't, don't click the right. I didn't click the right team speech. Team speech. Nice. So it looks like we're playing at Corinthians Stadium, I do believe. I'm not percent sure on that, so don't take your... Okay, so we... Corinthians with the ball now. Looking to get an attack going here. Uh, yeah, the, the guy we signed in the last episode, the other center back option that I brought in, Rodri... Hmm, I don't think his name's Rodriguez, is it? Martinez. Uh, Martinez. Um, he's a baller. I really like him. He's, he's going to be a really good player for us. He's played on the right, right back. He's played it right back for us a couple times already and has looked really good. I mean, it's it's good because Jao Daniel, when we play him at center back, he's really not the best aerial. So on set pieces, we can move um, move Martinez over and it works out really well. Renan with the ball now. Kicks it back. He's looking for Felipe. Poor pass by Renan. Don't know why he's not a little bit more aggressive with that. Corinthians now trying to get an attack going. We need to get a stop here. All right, we go down early. One nil in the 19th minute. Off of the poor pass from Renan. Don't know what he was really thinking in that one. I don't like that, though. Do not like that. Yikes. Very nice, guys. I guess we can drop a little bit of encouragement on the guys. It's still early in the match. We're not playing particularly well, though, looking at the stat sheet com compared to them. Pack, it's going to be one of those days. Be one of those They've been on good form, and the tack's not going to do anything. Uh, Lucas gets the ball here. First time touching it for him. Gets it into Ren and can't get his head on it. For Dan Fernando cannot finish as well. You know, I'm 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 far from pleased. I mean, it's not unlucky, nothing like I'm far from pleased from what I've seen from you guys in this first half. Let's do something different in the second half. We may have to go ahead and start making some changes. I'm not sure what we can 
I know there's stuff we can do. I mean, I hadn't really looked at the bench, but we do have a lot of our big name uh, attack ability out for this match with Panero being gone. He's been on really good form of late for us. And now it looks like Corinthians is trying to get their second goal and get a little bit of a lead on us. They got to run here. Piera does a good job to get in there and stop that. Yeah, Fernando's not, not looking hot at all. Brandon takes us down. He gets it over to Fernando, who works it in the box, takes the shot, can't finish. I think we're about to take Fernando out. I'm, I'm kind of getting... He's not playing good. The highlight continues. Pierre does a good job to tip that over. Stop that attack. And this is like an extremely long highlight, ain't it? Nino heads it out, clears it. Corinthians with the ball again, though. Hoping the highlight is going to end at some point. Okay. Don't know why you had to carry on for so long. Alvarino taking a corner here. Trying to get it in. Can't find anybody. Just a mess of bodies in there that he can't sort through. This is disappointing. Yeah, we don't look like we want to win this match. Time to make a change. Fernando's coming off. He is look awful. Uh, guess we bring Paulo on. What about uh, my guy? Where's my guy at? You know, the guy. Uh, Alvarino. Where's Alvarino? Is he hurt? Jesus Christ. Uh, I mean, it really sucks that Panera's hurt because he is who I'd bring in at this point for uh, Brennan up top. But this is, I, I don't know. After such a good form, we're getting beat 2 0 now in the 55th minute. We look like we don't care. I mean, yeah. Get that away. Martinez with a hard tackle there. I'm surprised that wasn't a penalty with the way this match has gone. Renan gets us down to Diego. Diego has looked good in the game's off screen. Uh, Daniel with it gets it up to Diego again. Uh huh. Yep. Mm hmm. I hate this game. <laughs> Martinez does it in. He gets Nino with it. Diego's going to try bringing this down. He, he doesn't jump. Loses out on that. And it feels like uh, Mr. Derek here is, is a good player. We're down 3-0. Just getting hammered by Corinthians. I mean, we got I think we got to do something to try uh, limiting what's happening because... He's beat the daylights out of us in this match, hasn't he? We we'll hard tackle him because uh, now it's looking like we're not going to make it through the next round. Uh, Enrique, I guess. Try helping a little bit with the defense because they are playing very poorly out there. So Lou brings this down. Tries to get it up to Alvarino. Okay, so Alvarino was playing on the left-hand side. That's where he was. Felipe... The defense has just looked poor out there. Martinez, Nino, Daniel. Nobody wanted to come play for us, I guess, today. You better believe we're going to thrash the arms at the end of this match. Alvarino with the ball now. I mean, I could have took a 1-0 defeat, you know, in a away game because at that point we could at least still look to work back into it. It doesn't look that way now because, I mean, it's... They've been the much better side. It hadn't been. It's not been close in this match. You can't say that it's been a unluckiness. This has just been a poor performance by the squad. Felipe gets beat here. We touch the ball and we lose it. You know. I thought that was going to be another goal, and it was going to go up four 0 I'm just trying to stop the bleeding at this point. I mean, 
nobody. The highest rating we have is a 6.6, .6, and that is Wesley Henrique, who just came on. Do we have another substitution? I mean, I'm sure we do. Uh, Martinez, I guess, can come off for Eduardo. It's just a, it's just a defensive change. That's all that's going to be. Yep. There's going to be some arms getting thrashed at this match. And say something about me being rough on y'all. Before we get into the match, our youth intake came through. So let's look at some of these guys. We have a star potential player. His name is Milson. He's an attacking right wing. Uh, looks to be pretty good. I mean, there's his determination is really high. He's got good teamwork. His technique looks good. He's got some good physicals at the age of 16 already with his balance being 15, his natural fitness 13, his pace 13. Excited about him. We need to get his strength and his stamina up. Obviously, he's only 16, so he does have a lot of time to work with that. Uh, up next is Robreval. Ro 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 uh, four and a half star potential player. Defensive midfield center back option. Probably play him at center back being six foot four. Needs to get his jump and reach a bit higher. But he's got some good technicals already. Uh, his heading, his marking, tackling, good technique, uh, good teamwork. Termination looks good. Anticipation and bravery as well. Something that we like to see. Uh, Felipe, another guy. Attacking center. Uh, like him, good dribbling, good first touch, good passing, good technique. Got some good physical abilities as well. Probably get down to Luis, Luis Alberto being the last guy I'll show off. Uh, goalkeeper here with Romero. Looks pretty good. I mean, I, I don't know really what else to say. Looks, looks, like, looks like he's a good player. Uh, Luis Alberto. Looks like he is a striking option. Can play on the right-hand side and in the middle as well. Good t good passing, good technique. Probably playing in the center, I would say, more often. Because he doesn't have really high finishing. He's got decent flair, though. He could be a player that we could develop into something eventually. But... I do like how those players look, but it is time. Guys, we got to make up for the last match. It is very frustrating. So we lost Corinthians 3-0 in the last match. Played them. We beat them 3-0 in, in the league, of course. Uh, you know, the thing we usually don't care about, but for some reason we got it backwards this time. So we got a lot of work to do in the second leg. We got to make up three goals. To even get a draw. I mean, well, go to extra time. For penalty. I, you get it. I don't know. Panero is going to be in this matchup, though, because I was really displeased with Fernando. Panero, he may not be 100% ready for this, but we got we to gotta, we gotta win this match, guys. I mean, it's a tough matchup. I mean, that's what it is. We're down 3-0. We need to make up for it. And the thing about it is this team has those goals in their – in the capability – you know, the capability. We're capable of putting up four goals against them and not allowing them to have a goal. But in the same sense, we're allowed, we're, we're capable of losing 3-0 against them. Okay, uh, we got to get six goals. Or four goals, I'm, I'm sorry. Five goals, you get it. I mean, it kind of worked last time when we went hard on. Um, it would probably help if I got to the right guy on Derek. Oh, man. I hate this team. Not really. I, I do like this team. It's just been a, it's been weird being with this team. P Pacheco gets the ball now. Uh, gets it over to Felipe. He's got some people he can work with. Not many options, though. Tries to get it into Ren and going to be one of those matches. That's all it is. It's just going to be one of those matches. I can already feel it with how that first five minutes went that we're not going to, we're not going to get five goals out of this match. That's for sure. Nino heads it down to Salou. Back to Nino. We do have, we need to get something going. I don't want to lose this four Neil on aggregate. Derek, the man that has absolutely just Lamb basted us in this. Okay. Whew. Yeah, he's, uh, Derek has killed us in this match. Pierre with a nice save there. Could have done that in the last match a little bit. That would have helped out. Mm. 
Nothing. Just absolutely nothing. I don't. I, I don't understand it. How we lose three nil, beat them three nil, and now we nothing again from us. Martinez it gets taken away from him. So Lou's gonna try chasing this down. Um, Diego with the ball. Lucas to Pacheco to Renan. Back to Pacheco. Over to Felipe. He's got a chance to take a shot here, and he does. Uh, Panero's going to pick this up. That was, a, that was a good opportunity from us. Diego. You know, they're still looking for that ball out in the uh, outside of the stadium if you want to go get it. R you know, rumor is it went into the universe. You know, it out in outer space right now. But, yeah, we're not getting this. We're not getting four goals this half, five goals this half. I'm just disappointed in this. Martinez gets ahead on it, doesn't finish. Trying to look for the six foot seven lad. Finds him. That was about it. All right, we got to make some changes. Uh, Renan is coming out. Parnero is going up top. Renan, you're going to the bench. I'm very disappointed in the way you've played. Uh, Lucas, you're coming out as well. We're making changes up top. Uh, I really want to play Denny, but he's not capable of playing. Uh, Fernando's going to come in. We're going to go very attacking. Oop. Yeah. Guess that's what we do. And we could move our... Can you even play up there? No. I hope you can't hear those dogs barking outside. I got my window open. It's a little toasty upstairs today. I just want to get something from these matches, you know? Like a like one goal. One goal. But we can't even do that. Here does a good job to punch that out. Alvarino brings it down. Martinez to Salou. I have not been impressed with the uh, the signing that our, our president made in Pedro Lucas. Uh, honestly, I think he's been kind of trash. Do we have any more substitutions? No. I mean, I've made all the changes. Only left to do now is sit back and wait for the disappointment. I have been impressed with that Derek kid. I want to get a scout a hold of him. He's... Um, he single-handedly beat us in the first match, and I just took way too long to even realize it. So Lou gets the ball here. Felipe to Diego. Moves it up to Fernando. Runs inside with it. Takes a shot. Can't finish. Maybe the next episode will be a better episode for us. I can't. Okay, thanks for the, telling me to make a sub when I, I'm out of subs. Good job, guy. How about you tell, uh, do something about screaming at the guys to score for goal, do a football, something, Jesus. Because this is pathetic. Eric's going to get it in again. It's 2 0. Uh... Where are Corinthians even at in the league? Because I know they're, they're a pretty good side. They're like one of those clubs around our level that's fighting for second place. They're either third or fourth, and we're the other one. Uh, Nino with the ball. Kicks it forward, trying to get it up to Paulo, who we've just now said his name for the first time. Panero's got a chance here. And he doesn't do anything with it. He just lets it. He squanders it. Jesus Christ, y'all, the match is over. You don't have to even... Oh, shit, it ain't over yet. I'll look up just in time to see it.
This game hates me. If you enjoyed that episode, I'm not sure me and you can be friends. Uh, but anyways, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.